Nicole, thanks for appearing on camera. Um, so do you just want to tell us about why, why you first came for bioresonance and what prompted you to do that? Yeah, well I started getting back trouble and I had a lot of blood tests from the doctors. They couldn't find anything, I was getting more and more tired to the point that I ended up in bed permanently and this went on for two years, they still couldn't find anything. Um, they eventually did pick up on the glandular fever um, they did MRI scans but nothing was coming from it um, and then we'd heard about bioresonance so we came and they picked up on candida um, I had fusarium in my lungs um, what else? I picked up on the glandular fever as well um, so that was treated and I did notice a difference the next time we came back, um, it was picked on the Fusobacterium also in my lungs and I had a treatment for that and that made a really big difference to my energy levels. I could get out of bed, I could walk around, I can breathe properly um, and just other symptoms like pain in my body, don't get as much nerve pain, as many headaches and things so it's, it's made a big difference. Interestingly, when we picked up Fusarium, um, We'd not heard of it, had we? And we realised it was a, a fungal infection that can affect um, pine trees. Mm. And we were thinking, well, where's that come yeah. from? <laughs> um, but it, it turned out it could have been, I mean, we don't know, it could have been from a, a, a remedy that was used for wart treatment, mm -hmm. wasn't it? So yeah. that possibly a connection. So things started to add up, add up didn't they? And Unfortunately, there's been such a long way for you to come. We haven't been able to do regular treatment, so it's taken longer, hasn't it? But yeah. the thing is, we've we feel like we're getting somewhere now, don't we? Um, when we found the Fuso bacterium, that's quite serious, isn't it? Yes. But again, there is a connection between that yeah. and the Fusarium. So last time we just spent an hour just treating those two things, yeah. and. We're not doctors, so we can't diagnose things or say to somebody, you've definitely got that. But what we do do, if we find something, we will work on that and, and then see if there's an improvement. So after that hour session last time of just treating those two things, how, what was the difference after that? Well, I can get out of bed normally on a morning. I'm not in pain in my lungs. I'd wake up on the morning, it felt like you had a weight on my chest like continuously. Um, I can walk around now and I don't feel like I'm wheezing or I don't have people asking me if I've got asthma. Um, but also just in general things like walking around the house, little things that take for granted but I can walk around normally which mm. is, is a massive difference for me considering I was just in bed all day. Yeah. I've kind of got some normality back. Oh. Some people will say that bioresonance is you know, quackery and yeah. you know it doesn't work. Um, what, what, what would you say to people like that? I saw it the same at first. <laughs> you hear about it and you think it's it's mad and it's a bit ridiculous. It can't be real, but it, it does work. It's it's very effective. You know, it took a bit of time because the amount of travelling we had to do, but it really is worth looking into. It is effective. Lovely. Well, thanks for sharing your experience. Thank you.